G'day, my name's Rhett Butler and thanks for tuning into the Art and Design Newscast. Don't click away, I'll know. We'd like to start by congratulating the hundreds of art and design students who won at this year's Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Here is just a small sampling of some of the winning work. What am I supposed to do? It's not that bad. You know, I mean, oh, one second. <laughs> Whoa. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small. Bloody good job. And best of luck to all the gold key winners now eligible for awards at a national level. And from top tier art to top ass and more, earlier this month we celebrated Hat Day over Zoom, proving that not even a pandemic can get in the way of art and design's interesting fashion choices. Enjoy. Thanks, Miss Alexander, for those great images. And now, moving on from headwear to headlines, on January 6th, we witnessed a violent riot at the Capitol. Here's how some of our students felt about it. When the Capitol was attacked January 6, 2021, I was shocked to the core because to think that anyone in this world can break into a federal government building and have minimum consequences is crazy to me. When I first found out about the rioting on the Capitol, I don't think I realized the severity or to the extent of how major it was to be happening in this country. Um, you know, I knew about the divisions that lied in our country for so long, far before the rioting even happened, but to see this kind of tension unfold into the way it did was really surreal and kind of um, hard to understand at first. I myself to this day do not know how I feel about the whole situation. It was something very crazy and I was so shocked to see and hear it on the news. This riot of people breaking into the capital of the United States was handled more hesitantly than the Black Lives Matter riots. You know, when you look at the Black Lives Matter protests that happened earlier in the year, protesting for their lives and the police brutality that they were faced with within those protests against police brutality. And then we see rioting of the Capitol and we see police officers opening the doors and essentially letting people in. And this is a really hard concept to grasp in our country. And though I knew that these issues already exist, to really see it right in front of us, it's it took me a while to kind of accept that this was happening and really understand a big congratulations to junior Ebony Morrison, who took home first prize of $1,000 in the I Just Luminary Challenge. Ebony has already been offered freelance work as a result of the publicity from winning the prize. Great stuff, Ebony. And finally, a big announcement. 
New York City's top art and academic high schools are planning on partnering to share their strengths. A big thanks to AP Rosales for spearheading this collaboration. Now you know the drill. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the Art and Design Newscast YouTube channel. And make sure to pester your friends and family so that they watch and subscribe as well. If you'd like to learn more about our school or are interested in enrolling, visit our website at artanddesignhs.org and follow us on Instagram at artanddesignnyc. That's all for this newscast. I hope you have a good winter break and we'll see you next time.